What's going on everyone? This is Zach with Strictly Shisha and Frank from Tangiers has been on point with sending me flavors every month to test out for you guys. Hopefully you guys saw my review of Tangiers Blueberry. I really enjoyed that flavor. Like I said in that review, it is an excellent mixer. I think it pairs actually very nicely with the flavor I'm about to talk about right now. So the flavor I'm reviewing today is Tangiers, I believe it's part of the Noor line, Dark Cherry. So obviously this is Tangiers Noor, very similar to all Noor cut. Very dark, very choppy, not too juicy. So definitely mix this up very good every time you guys smoke. I did acclimate this for almost a whole day. It didn't seem like it needed acclimation, but I did it for good measure. The first time I smoked it, it smoked all right. I accidentally left it open overnight as well. And the next day, I noticed that the smell was even better. The cherry notes came out a lot more. So let me tell you guys what I can smell right now. Definitely smelling this, you know it is a cherry. And it's not just a regular maraschino cherry by the smell. You can tell there's some other stuff in this. Very good smell from this. And very strong, potent smell like all the new Tangier stuff. Every time I smell this new Tangiers, I'm just like choking on it. So the flavor strength from the smell is very good on this. Smoking out of the spool and hookah. Hookah I've been testing out for a while now. I need to get a review of this done. I got a lot on my plate these days. As you can see, my workbench is a little messy, as well as my testing area downstairs. Got a lot of stuff on the plate to review. Have this packed in an 80 feet bowl with two layers of standard duty foil. Using the Provo system with two titanium cubes. Currently, the vents are closed. I'm using a Sheikah Typhoon hose. Just in the mood for a nice proper hose today. I know you guys don't see me with proper hoses that often. And this is my Tangiers setup of choice. I love the way it performs in this. And I know that even with the most uh, heat temperamental tobaccos, I get really good results with the Provost. So if you don't have a Provost, definitely think about picking one up. It makes heat management a lot easier, especially with Tangiers. So let's get into this flavor. This particular Tangiers flavor takes heat very, very well. I have yet to burn a session, it works very well. I don't have to baby it too much. Pack it right to the height that I always pack Tangiers, almost even with my Spire on my 80 feet bowl. It is packed dense like Tangiers. Today I packed it a little bit looser just to see, but in all of my sessions, they all perform pretty much the same. Let's take a few hits for you guys. Now I'm not a huge cherry fan, but this is actually smoking very well, especially in comparison to the smell and the name. Very accurate representation of a dark cherry. And this flavor does differentiate from the maraschino cherry flavor by Tangiers. Shout out to Wayne Tan. Wayne and I smoked a maraschino cherry many, many evenings, and I believe we have a review of this somewhere online. You guys can search for it. And you guys can watch that review if you wanna see a direct comparison of how this flavor actually compares to dark cherry. But right off the bat, I wanna say that this cherry flavor is not as sweet as maraschino cherry. Maraschino cherries, even when you eat them, are very sweet, they're very heavy, they're soaked in that syrup. This has the balance that maraschino cherry doesn't. You get the nice balance of that sweet maraschino cherry in there that's countered by a spice blend. It's not overly spicy, just kind of counters that sweetness. And I get apple in here, and I'm not sure if it's supposed to be apple, but apple, cherry, kind of in the same family, so it works for me. So it's still a very good blend. So I like what they've done with maraschino cherry, and I like what Tangiers is doing with a lot of their new flavors. The flavor strength on a lot of their new stuff is very nice. It combats those tobacco notes, which I personally don't prefer. Same thing with this flavor. Very minimal tobacco notes in this. They don't peek through. Maybe on the second round of coals, you can taste them a little bit. That doesn't bother me at all. As you can see by my clouds, it is smoking very well. You get a nice, bold, huge cloud. As you can see by my cloud output, it is performing as well. I'll take another hit. See, clouds, there you go, proof. I'll keep this nice and short though. So if you guys haven't checked out Tangiers in a while, I would recommend revisiting it. I know I took a hiatus from Tangiers for about a year, and now that I'm smoking it again, I have a lot of respect for the brand, especially the new stuff. And if you like what I've described in this video about this flavor, definitely check it out. It's a cool flavor. But thank you guys very much for watching. I'm gonna try and keep these videos coming. Take care guys, bye.